are not trading based on the fact that I know whether or not the pound dollar is going to go up or down. I'm trading based on a statistic advantage I have over a long period of time with my three-step system. If I trade this over and over, let's say throughout an entire year, I get 100 trades trading exactly like this, or I get 500 trades, whatever it is, just keep math simple. I get 100 trades trading like this. If I can get, and I normally do get, between 55 and 60% accurate, if I just get 55% accurate, and I have a 1.4 to 1, reward to risk ratio, then I have a statistic advantage that will play out over that long span of time and means that I'm going to make money over the course of a year, dramatically more money than if I invested in an index fund, dramatically more money than if I were to just plant my money in some stocks for the most part, depending on the stocks, I know that. But it's just the best way I've found to trade pure price action that gives me an advantage, but that advantage plays out over time. That advantage does not exist in one single trade. The outcome of a single trade is random. I know that was a bit of a rant. We're gonna do one more example. I think three is the magic number here. So I'm gonna do one more example to ensure that you have this. Again, I know that rant was probably a little bit long, but just understand as a beginner that it was necessary for you to hear that. Even if you're just a struggling trader and you're not quite a beginner, if that's something you didn't know, now you know. So let's go ahead and move on to one more example of this. And I'll see you guys in just a second. So here's a trade that we're currently in on the New Zealand dollar. Sorry to blind you with the white charts, but that's just where I have all this analysis done. Let's go ahead and go through step one. Step one is what? Identify trend and structure. Let's identify the trend here. It's, it's, not that, it's not that hard on this one, right? Definitely a downtrend. We've had a waterfall on the New Zealand versus the dollar lately. So we have a downtrend. We know that trend, check it off. Structure levels we want to pay attention to. Now, looking at this, the structure level I would normally pay attention to would be at least up here because that's a bit more of a bounce up than this was. But let me explain why I used this level instead. I did look left. This is technically the latest support level that was broken in this downtrend. So with that being the case, I do have a reason to see it as a recent level of support. And if I look left, this is what really made me do it is the fact that this level also had been reacted to dramatically by this market. So throwing those two factors together, this became my structure level. So now I have trend is downtrend, structure is right here. And with that being the case, what's my next step? Preparation and prediction. If we're gonna predict or prepare, we have to prepare for what? Price to go up or price to go down. So if price goes down, we expect it to break through the slow just because we're in a downtrend. If price goes up, we expect this level to become re resistance because it's a previous level of support and it's been tested multiple times looking left. If we do push up to this level, what's our next step? We've now prepared. We made our prediction that this should become resistance if this downtrend is going to continue because it's the next major level of resistance price will hit. So the next step is to wait for price to get there and then take action slash enter the trade. So let's go ahead and push the market forward here. Oh, we're in our zone. We got involved somewhere around there. I'll put again, the screenshot up from the email analysis I sent out, which are like email alerts that come with the EAP training program. By the way, if you want to get involved in the EAP training program, the link is in the description, or you can go to www.eaptrainingprogram.com. But after we got 